Okay, so this is how you make a spool, right? So the first thing you're gonna need is a spool. Now you can use the old wooden kind if you like. I just got this from a craft store. It's made of cardboard and it really works quite well. You're gonna need a spool. Of course, you're gonna need some elastic bands. You're gonna need a skewer. You're gonna need some washers, about that size. And you're gonna need some sticky tape. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your spool and you wanna thread your elastic bands through the spool. I think it's always good to use a pencil or something like that to help you do that. Okay, so once you've got the elastic bands through the other end of the spool, you wanna keep them there. And so what I've done is I cut a short piece from my skewer and I'm gonna thread that through the elastic bands like this and that stops the elastic bands from going through the hole. And then what you do is you need to tape it. And that just stops the whole thing from moving. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna thread your elastic bands through the washers. Okay, just like that. Now you're probably asking yourself, what are the washers for? Well, once your skewer goes up along the side of the spool, you don't want part, long parts of the skewer hitting the edges of the spool. So the washers keep a little distance there. Otherwise, the friction of the skewer against the spool is gonna slow it down. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna put your skewer through the elastic bands like this. And then just simply wind it up. Okay, so now it should be ready to go. Just wanna make sure too that the skewer doesn't go past the circumference of the spool. Now, all we need to do is put it down and got your uncle.